Hello everyone, I am Dan the Man TV, and today we are playing Lego Marvel's Avengers. But not the main story, as you can see. A couple of months back, they released a free Ant-Man DLC pack for the PS4. And I've had a play as the characters. Um, I kind of break that. I've pl played as the characters, as you can see. They're down here. Um, there's Scott Lang. Um, who can change an Ant-Man. This is based on the movie version of Ant-Man, by the way. I should have said that. Um, there's Hank Pym. I can turn into his version of Ant-Man. There's also Anthony, which is, um, Ant-Man's, like, ant pet in the film. And you can also ride as him as well. So, you can take off and just fly across the city. But, there's also... I want to get off. There's also, um, Cassie Lang, um, Ant-Man's daughter, although when she attacks, she sounds like she's a 30-year-old female. There's Hope, Hank Pym's daughter. Louise, um... Ant-Man's uh, best friend, I should say, and the Wasp, um, who, who can only shrink when she flies, I think. And last, Darren Cross, who can turn into the Yellow Jacket, who was the villain of the movie. That's not the reason why I'm here today, though. Because they also released a level to go along with the this free Ant-Man DLC pack. Although I never beat that level. Uh, like I say, I came in the game, I played with some of the characters, but I never beat the level. So I thought I'd record myself playing it today. So, heading into space, and we're going to beat the Ant-Man level. Uh, this is on here somewhere, I think. Here it is. Ant-Man. Are you sure? Yes. So this is based okay, so on the Ant-Man movie. Remember last week when I had to bail from the ballet, bro? And you know how much I dig my man Prokofiev and his unorthodox use of harmonies. Well, my boy Scotty was coming back to town, and I had to be there for him, you know? Just like he was for me and stuff. Anyway, I'm like, there's this sweet gig I got lined up with some friends of mine, bro. But he's all like, are you for real right now? No way am I going to be some loser bad guy no more. So I say, they're like real skilled people, man. And he just says, I don't think so. And I'm all like, yo, Scotty, whatever, bro. Then he got fired from his job. And he's all like, let's eat waffles and do this thing. So we find our way into this old dude's house. This job I heard through my cousin's cousin's friend's brother's girl. So he finds his suit, bro. And then things start getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just getting excited, you know? This dude named Cross wants to use the tech and make suits called Yellow Jackets and sell them to major shady dudes, like take over the world shady. So me and Scotty, we hit up Pimp Tech so he could stop them. <laughs> okay, um, what I was saying is this is based on the movie, oh, man, and that's um, lady friend has set me up with a security clearance, and I was that's system, man. um, Scotty like suit, the basic plot of the movie, man, and it looks tech. like, um, yeah, um. Right, I knew we were in um, Pym Tech. I knew that, but I never really played the level for my for myself. But looks like we're in Pym Tech trying to stop the Yellow Jacket. And at the minute, we've got Ant Man and Louise in this cop uniform and all. Access granted. Yay! Um. So, the Ant-Man, uh, the Ant-Man movie, I really like the movie, um, I'll try to help with I wouldn't say it's the best movie in the MCU, but it's definitely a great one, like, top five, maybe six, I think. I'm a very big Marvel fan. I know the how about that channel would disagree, but even he likes this honest, movie. Man, he and Scotty do his thing was incredible. He explained that even though he was small, he was still like mad strong, you know? And he explained it for like an hour, but I was thinking about smoothie machines. And 
Yeah, so I, I really like this movie. Even he likes this movie. And one thing I really admire this movie just because um, it was directed by Edgar Wright. And then he dropped out. So at the last minute, um, oh, it was a, oh man, I can't remember his name. Um, the di So a different director came in at the very last minute and pretty much took over. Uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to Google who he was. So, give, give, bear with me. Give me a minute. Is Peyton Reed right? Yeah, that. Yeah, that was him. So he stepped in for Edgar Wright at the last cost. minute. And the movie ended up still being good, which is quite impressive considering switching directors is never a good idea. Looks like we've got some baddies over here. By the way, um... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be... I probably will do... I've got LEGO Dimensions as well. I will do some videos on that. Um, I'll probably wait until something in year 2 comes out. Because I don't really think... I can't really think of much to record at the minute. Same with this game. Like, this is really the only thing I could record. Unless I just, like, went around the hub world just doing missions. But... I will do something for LEGO Dimensions. I'm hoping that I can get the How About That channel in with us and we'll do some battle arenas which is new for phase 2 also if I if you ever see me play a lego game one thing you gotta know I smash everything honestly I like don't leave the room until everything is smashed that's like, this place was full of it's like low in a Lego game. You have to break everything. If could get it to work for us, Scotty could. See, beat that, but I'm not going to progress until I've broken everything in the room. Because, you know, we've got to make that money. Well, so it looks like three out of five, so I don't know if that's a mandatory to break all of them, or if maybe I've just got to, um, maybe I've just got to, maybe I've just got to do them for a mini kit. Sorry, I kind of, I'm not very good at my job. shield panels here but I don't know why because I don't think I don't think like shield has anything to do with this so that's kind of weird I, th I don't know I think I stated this at the beginning but this level is only available on PS4 I think but it is free so if you have the PS4 version, go on the PlayStation Store and download this because there's some other free L free DLC. There's um, some Civil War DLC, but that's only like a bunch of the characters from Civil War. And even then, just mostly costumes. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it looks like I do that and then I've got to quickly run through. Um, yeah, and then there's also recently that added Spider-Man DLC because people complain that Spider-Man is not in this game. So they added them in um, and now there's a bunch of, sp well, there's a couple of Spider-Mans because not really Spider-Man characters, just Spider-Man and a bunch of different variants like there's the, sp the Lego, the normal Lego Spider-Man, the one in Lego 
Lego Marvel superheroes, and that pretty much comes in every single Lego Spider-Man set. So I'm sick of that minifigure. But then they also have the new Civil War Spider-Man and like Spider-Man, Spider-Girl, and then like Spider-Man Miles Morales and stuff. So that was cool, but I would have preferred maybe the one Spider-Man from the one comic Spider-Man, the one from Civil War, and um, maybe just some other Spider-Man characters like. Spider-Man villains. I'm not. I'm not. He just bounces everywhere when attacking. And so, I would have preferred like some other Spider-Man characters rather than just getting like the five or six Spider-Man. Like maybe a villain, maybe Green Goblin. I don't know. But it was cool how they included it. However, something I'm not happy about is that this is a Marvel Cinematic Universe game. There's a very big um omission from this game can, can you guess who it is if you know the mcu right T time's up right so the guardians of the galaxy are not in this game whatsoever like that is like what i honestly thought they i was quite excited because when i heard this game was going to be based on the mcu i was like does that mean we're going to get some like movie guardians because they have the comic book versions in Lego Lego Marvel Super Heroes, which by the way I completed 100%. And they have, so they have the comic book versions, but that was before the movie came out, and then the movie came out, everybody loved it, including me. So I thought they were either going to do DLC for that one, because they've done DLC for Thor The Dark World, but they never done it. So then when I heard this game was going to be an MCU game, I was like, yes, we're going to get some movie versions. But, very surprisingly, they're not in this game whatsoever. And I was shocked by that. Because I thought there was going to be... Because there's a couple of DLC levels. There's Black Panther 1, um, Masters of Evil 1, Doctor Strange 1. There's this free Ant-Man 1 for PS4. Uh, there's a Captain Marvel 1 and an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. 1. I honestly thought there was going to be a Guardians 1. Like... Really? Quite shocked. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just breaking everything. Um, like, I thought there was going to be a Guardians level and a bunch of characters. But even then, I probably would have settled with just the one. I was settled with the... Uh... Uh, sorry, I was just trying to think of how to do this puzzle. I was sort of settled with just the um, the main guardians, like the five guardians, and just the character pack, like no other characters. That I could, I would have settled for just that. But honestly, they just weren't included, which is really shocking. Uh, if they make Lego Infinity War, not sure if they will or not, but they definitely include them then. I'm sorry, I mean, they'll have to because the guardians are going to be in um, Infinity War. We made it. Once we got past security systems around the chamber, it was time to show some of Scotty's new bomb moves to that cross dude. Right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to finish this in this episode, so be sure to tune in next time for part two, which should be online not that long after this one. So, see you then.